Beast, and here Strelo will turn on one deep to center, and that's Clark Range for out number yep. one. Yep, if it's in the park, Clark's going to have a great chance to catch it. And is Clemson desperate for a bounce back? Minnesota maybe thinking they could sneak away with a doubleheader sweep of a ranked team as Oakland goes down on strikes, and there's two up, two down. Oh, we're right there. A freshman who has burst onto the seams as Chavez barrels one right at Clark in a 1-2-3 inning for Reagan Spencer. And we will take a look at the high-flying lineup of Clemson when we come back. Following an 0 for 5 game one, and she will turn this around for a leadoff single. Well, that's a good start. That's about as good as you can do. Ronald Maddox, our home plate umpire tonight. I don't think so. Inside and Clark works the walk, and this is where you get into a situation. Clemson. So yeah, it hit the camera. We're gonna but get the camera view. Now a one-two. Cagle goes down on strikes. 65 upper portion. Richardson can frame that ball. Very, very good teams. And then you throw in the one loss to NC State over the weekend, and there's Logaleo lifting one out to left field. Breezy Burnett. One of the better names in college softball is there. Burnett had a key RBI, extending the... Three-o pitch misses high. The bases are loaded now. Kyler... Yeah, look at that. Am. Got a trash split going on. Brown, Clark, and Moore. Plenty of speed. Johnson right into the waiting glove of Stralo. Again, the keystone with a key grab for Minnesota, and we're scoreless through one here on this Thursday night. Some days. Indoctrinated the program five years ago, hoping that this year five team can be the one that finally makes its way to OKC. And Chopper. Chance for more. There's two quick outs here in the second inning. No, 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 no. It's no. the same crew. No, it's still. No, that's my, that's my guy down at third baseline. That's, Don't mess with him. Taylor got hit in the arm last game. Brayton missed getting hit by inches. Meanwhile, Michigan, Northwestern. Yeah. No, you can't look past them. It is, it is an interesting conference, though, as Vieira grounds out to second. It's one that we have seen a team that you just, it's an old school style of softball. They, it, it's very difficult for them to get, like, three or four, particularly in softball now, to get three or four or five blue chippers to leave Southern California or to leave Florida or Texas. Anyone can start a staff and work through it. It's Piper Ritter. As Chopper to short, sees the quick trigger of Oakland, and it's scooped up by Cox as we head to the third. The long hair. Look at this, Breezy, her second hit of the night. There you go. Sparks a little rally here in the third inning for the Gopher. There's a good butt right there. Cable snaps it and fires over to Moore for out number one. Got another helicopter coming over, partner. They want pitch. Gloved over by Moore. You mentioned the speedy left-handed bat. Smart decision by Moore. Yep. As Appearance as a Tiger. Straight low to third. Brown stays down on it, and that saves a run. As we head to the bottom of the third, Clemson's defense standing tall here. The two on count comes to the junior. Brown barrels one. Deep center field. It is up and gone! The first home run of this homestand for Alex Brown. And she drove that thing right out of here like a two iron. That ball did not get very high off the ground, but it got out of here at the park, but she drove that thing out of the park. Look at that. Yeah, that's your basic, that's your basic line drive homer right there. Yeah, everywhere. Look at all those people yelling in that first base dugout. Stop that plate. Be sure it don't come up. Yeah. This one is driven down the left field line, but Breezy is there as Burnett makes the catch. Her friends call her the Breeze. Do they? Yeah, they call her. High chopper over to Oakland, who has a golden glove at short and thought that she ended the inning. Yeah. It's just out number two. 
regaining her composure after the home run. Wow, that one got to right field in a hurry as Longaleo has a two out now. Yep, and that was a good job of going with the pitch. Oh, 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 oh she's got a leprechaun hat on. Runner is off the 2-2 pitch, throw down a second tag just a little late. A stolen base for Longaleo. That was call right on it. Higher Danny Slaughter, and it is a moot point as Moore goes down on strikes. Oakland Chavez Kraft as Brown, the recipient of a soft serve line drive for up Minnesota in the midst of a long road trip. We'll head to Columbia next. This is a tough play. Hiller will flip and Moore is not it. Oh, she's in time, but I think this will be challenged. We're going to watch this one again. I got a feeling. Base runner is safe. Pawing around the circle. This gets by the catcher in Vieira, and off to second goes Chavez. Meanwhile, back in action, it's a high chopper. No, it is a pop-up caught by Lungaleo, and it's out number two. A run scoring opportunity for the first time here in game two for the Golden Gophers. Swinging, 66 on the outer half, and Spencer puts together four strong six hole. And that pitch is ripped fair down the left field line. Johnson makes sure that there are no gloves in the vicinity for her first hit of the night. And she continues to do that. She will hit a lot more. This is positive for her. She's down to 196. Swinging away. Six to four on the fielder's choice. And there's one out. Because the way the schedule rolls out, you have bye weeks, and this is the bye weekend for Clemson. And look at Stewart, able to take advantage of the starting spot. Drill one into left for the Tigers' fifth hit. And look at that dugout down on the first base side. They were very happy for that hit. You take off on uh, 75 South. Oh, that ball was hit hard. Double play for the second time today. The and Golden Gophers end the inning with a twin killing. Line drive, better be swinging here. 3-1, popped to Lungaleo. Yeah, there you go. Umpires are funny people. They don't like it when you show them up. That when we come here to do games that you could ever want to work with. And it's just such a kick every time I get to come to this ballpark. As an old coach, it makes you feel good when you're working around it. Or she may not, but she just goes right back to work. Hit the other way off the glove of Moore. And infield single for Cox here extends the inning. Good job of smothering that ball by Moore. Brown needs to hurry, and she does. So through five is Spencer, and Clemson looks to add some insurance. We have a career high in innings for the freshman. Now a career high in pitches as Brown laces one to center, and DeBoard is there. And she hit that on the button. I may have just coined a word. I like it. That's a good one. Clark waits on it, drives it into right center, and this is a gapper. Off the glove of Valencia, McKenzie wants three. And she will slide with a one-out triple. And a huge strikeout. The reaction from the teammates says it all as Richardson mows down Cagle. That's one she'll remember. Cagle had one of those rare port bats. Oakland will be up second in the sixth as she fires to first and Richardson. Five strong innings, her longest outing. As ain't much, but a bloop and a blast away from taking the lead. There's a good pitch. Called strike three as Spencer picks up her third K. Thompson. 
Pop up, shallow left, Lungaleo there, and there's two quick outs here in the sixth. That's the way you want it. So the only hit of note in this contest. Out, so that's a very good point. Pop up, shallow right, Kegel picks it up on a short hop, and it's a two out single by Chavez. She couldn't do nothing more than that. Michigan. Michigan's won in World Series. And Kraft finds a gap. We're going to see Chavez run. She gets the green light. Lungaleo's cut is long. And Minnesota ties it on a two-out triple in the sixth. And this is a situation, Scott, you work on all offseason. You had time to throw home. Not a very good throw. And look at the bench. Present the go-ahead run here in the sixth. Hard hit, Lungaleo. This throw in time. So we head to the bottom half, but the Golden Gophers continue their magical spring break. Moore out to center. DeBoard is there for out number one. You see everybody's... By your guard. No. Great take by the freshman who works a one out walk. That sure was a good out, a good take, Daniel. That was a good job. That's it. That's what Clemson's looking for. Runner is off. Might have been a bit delayed. It caught Kraft off balance, and Johnson swipes her second bag of the day. Uh, you got to hurt with them. You got to enjoy it with them. There's just a lot of stuff that you have to do. Oh, Burnett got a great jump and will catch up to this fly ball for out number two, tagging from second in a heads up play by Johnson. That was a heads up play. To two, popped up to Oakland. She can range and send us to the seventh. The Gophers get the shutdown inning. Break and ready to continue chugging along here in the Carolinas as Nani Valencia with a pop out to short. What do you think Minnesota has thought? You know, they start in Charlotte, they move to Greensboro. Today. Pitchers duel in both games. We've seen the second baseman tested a lot. There's a reason why they call it the keystone position. It is, there is a reason for that. She came in for the seventh inning of game one. Here she is in the seventh inning of game two. And well, quick work for Spencer in the top of the seventh, and Clemson in a similar situation. Hiller delivers with a base hit. And up home run hitter at the plate in Brown. She will swing away and ground one softly to second. It works like a bunt and almost a replica of the seventh inning of game one yeah. where Brown hit it right at the second baseman, Stralo, and she made. Deep drive, center field, Clark wins it with a home run. How about that? Suddenly. Partner, now we have seen a little bit of it all. You said we hadn't seen the walk off. You got what you wanted. Got it and drove it out of there. What a finish. Had a little bat flip to boot. Yeah. And there was never a doubt about that one. If you if you've been to games here, you really knew it. Fourth home run of the season for Clark. None bigger. And a deep sigh of relief for the home support. You talk about a team needing that.